inspiration meditation. So happy 2023, everyone. Welcome to the inspiration meditation, which in unity is known as the white stone ceremony. This evening, we will set an intention for the new year. In years past, white stones or tiles were provided. This year, we invite you to write what comes to you on a sticky note or a plain piece of paper, and then to place it somewhere where it can inspire you daily. So somewhere where you will be able to see it every day. Stick it on your mirror in your bathroom, or if you've got um, a little, um, oh my goodness, uh, what do you call it? Altar, a little altar, put it in your altar, um, whatever, whatever works for you where you can see it daily. So before we move on, uh, let's open with an affirmative intention and listen to a song by Sue Riley, What I Seek is Seeking Me. Please join me in this affirmative intention. Divine love flows through our unity spiritual community as we grow together. Today we give ourselves and one another the gift of a fresh start by releasing thoughts of past limitation and embracing new power and possibility. In loving gratitude, we open our hearts and minds. We surrender to awakened transformation and we accept it into our lives. We embrace this new beginning and we say thank you in gratitude for all that has been, all that is now, and all that is yet to come. And we say, and so it is, and so we let it be. In Revelations 2.17, John tells us about the people being given a new name. Let anyone who has an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying. To everyone who conquers, I will give some of the hidden manna, and I will give a white stone. And on the white stone is written a new name, and no one knows except the one who receives it. Manna in Aramaic means bread. So what is being said? To everyone who con conquers, which means who overcomes, I will give some of the hidden manna. Is that hidden spiritual nourishment will be given to those who overcome the conditions of the thinking mind and who live from their Christ consciousness, from their divine nature. The name will be revealed from the deepest, most secret part of our being, a name known only to ourselves. It represents a new state of freedom from the bondage of ordinary thinking. In the Bible, there are many instances of people's name changing, of people's names changing. It signifies a change in consciousness. We also see that in many traditions today, a guru or elder gives a name to an initiate who has achieved a level, a level of spiritual awareness. Every name represents a quality that is within the person who carries the name. The color white, metaphysically, represents purification, joy, victory. When we meditate and are in this purified state of consciousness, we embody more of our I am presence. The stone, or in tonight's case, a clean piece of paper, then is a symbol of a clean slate. And the name that comes represents a quality or essence that will guide our new beginning. 
If a word comes into your mind and you think you already know what your new name is going to be, I invite you to put it aside and just go with the process. If you're inclined to worry about whether or not you will get a name, I invite you to let go of worry and be with this process just for now. When you receive a word, don't second guess it or edit it, even if you disagree with it. You, or if you think it doesn't make sense or feels bigger than you are. If you receive more than one word, rejoice. And again, don't try to determine which is the more powerful world. Fear not. This is what the angels say in the Bible whenever they are bringing a powerful message. And know that there is no extra credit for being the first one to get a name or write it down. So take your time. Take as long as it takes. So let us allow ourselves to relax now as we prepare for the meditation. As we begin our meditation, which has been inspired by Unity Minister Reverend Ellen Devonport and Brendan Days of The Journey, I invite you to stay open to receive your name. And when you get the word, just hold it in your heart and simply say, thank you. I accept. As we begin our meditation, which has been inspired, like I said, by Unity Minister Reverend Ellen Devonport, I invite you to close your eyes if you are comfortable doing so, or gently look down. Imagine in your mind's eye holding a white stone. Examine it. See its beauty its shape, its color, its texture. Notice how it feels in your hand. Taking a deep breath. And as you breathe it out, just relax into seeing and feeling your stone. Take several beautiful deep breaths and with each breath, feel your body relaxing. Feel yourself supported by the chair and the room, by the music and my voice. Visualizing holding your stone in your left hand, you may want to place the right hand over your heart. Allow my words to be your words. I am freeing myself to live more fully. I am free from old fears and self-doubts. I 
am free from limiting beliefs about myself. I open myself to new life and life renews itself in me. Now imagine you are moving away from a prison or handcuffs or shackles or any limitations you have had. Whatever you recently released and left behind. Imagine you have come to a downward facing staircase with five steps. This staircase is an, unlike any you've ever seen before. It is a really sacred, spiritual staircase. It shimmers with beautiful colors and it carries you deep into this that is unknown. Into this that has never been known. And so when you are ready, resting in your own openness, willingness, exposure and trust, with great reverence and humility, you may step onto the top step. Step number five knowing that with every step you take, you will be carried effortlessly into an ever deepening vast expanse of the unknown. And stepping onto step number four, allowing your own awareness to expand freely in front, vastly behind, openly to all sides, oceans like below and sky like above, just resting as an ever deepening vast expanse carries you boundlessly into the unknown. Step three continuing to expand, sensing the boundless grace. Two, knowing that as you step onto one, you'll be stepping into this that is unknown and ever deepening, and ever deepening, fathomless unknown. Before you is a door. The door is opening and a bright luminous light is shining, beckoning you as you step through the door. You notice a wise sage, a mentor, waiting for you. The mentor approaches you with so much love and grasping your hands leans towards you and whispers something in your ear. You see a bench and sit down with your mentor, grateful for this time together opening your hand and looking down at the stone you are carrying, you wonder, what is my word, my secret name? You don't have to try to think it up or make it happen. Remember, it is already written in your heart. Allow the word or symbol to plop into your mind or bubble up easily 
or materialize. Take a moment in the silence to listen for the word and when you are ready to see or feel or imagine it, write itself on your stone. As you become aware of a word, a word that describes the new you, your new life, your new identity, it means you are now free to go forth and live your life anew. With this new name, Spirit is saying, here is your new identity, your new version of yourself. Here is what you are to embrace and demonstrate and live out. Here is your new beginning, the new you. Try the word on for size. Does it strike a chord of truth, whether you like it or not? Is there a sense of recognition about it? Does it require you to grow and stretch and maybe change your nature or way of being? And even if you wished it was a different word, is there a sense of rightness about it? a sense of familiarity. With this word in mind, imagine some typical situations you could encounter this year. And as they come to mind, let your new word be an anchor or stabilizing force. How could embodying this word change your behavior? How could it support you in living authentically? The word or phrase or symbol you have been given is a bridge into this incredible new year filled with potential and growth, whether you understand it yet or not. Affirming quietly to yourself, Say, I am one with the light. I am light. I am filled with the light. I am light. I am illumined by the light. I am the light of the world. Returning to the staircase, Turn and thank your mentor. In stepping onto the first step, step number one, affirm as a member of this spiritual community that you bless the stone and your new name and the potential for change it represents. Stepping onto step number two, acknowledge the divine potential you have and the divine potential of each member of this spiritual community. Stepping onto step three, you are excited to see where we will all be a year from now after we have practiced our word. Onto step four, you are grateful, 
knowing everyone's lives are already changed for the better, excited and ready to greet your new life, you step onto step five, awake and energized. And so it is, and so we affirm it to be. Gently bring your presence back to the room. Now or later, you may choose to write your word on a stone, a sticky, or a piece of paper. Take a moment to savor your new name. And if you didn't receive one, know that one is waiting for the right moment to reveal itself to you. In closing, may you and your loved ones have an exceptionally happy, healthy, and prosperous 2023, revealing miracles of light and love. And may each of you experience yourselves as the divine beings you are, the divine beings you have always been, and the divine beings you always will be. May 2023 be a year divinely guided with joy, ease, abundance, and love for all.